Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine. My name is Caitlin. If you're new here, welcome. And make sure if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Today I'm drinking a little bit of Prosecco from my vintage champagne glass, which isn't actually vintage. It just looks vintage, but I love the style and that's so cute. So if I've timed this right, this video should go up in August. In August is the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So in case you were like, Caitlin, you live in Louisiana and you're wearing a jacket in August. I'm wearing a jacket for this video specifically for you guys. So I am dying for you guys. So I'm not little doing in this video. This jacket is so cute. So what all, all the things that I am wearing with the exception of this ring that's from Amazon is from the Nordstrom at anniversary sale. So although it hasn't started yet at the time that I'm filming this video, um, I'm actually wearing things that I bought in last year's sale that is also going to be in this year's sale because I'm pretty classic. I buy a lot of the classic pieces. So um, this tank is in the sale from One Dot State. This jacket from Blank NYC. Although this is last year's version, uh, this year's version I think has a couple of different zippers. But I'll be talking all about the sale on uh, Instagram. I'm going to be doing a lot of different sale content. I just don't really have a good place in my home to like film outfit try-ons. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that on Instagram. Um, I'll be doing IGTV. I'll probably do a TikTok or two as well. So follow me on all those platforms. I'm Lux and Wine everywhere. Um, check that out. I'm really excited about it. I do really like the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but you'll also notice I'm going to be pretty honest with you guys about kind of what's worth it, what isn't, and what's really going to be cheaper out of the sale. Like right now, I'm pretty sure this jacket uh, was at rack just a couple of months ago for way less than it is in the anniversary sale. So like just full disclosure, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about that. Not everything from the anniversary sale ends up going on clearance. Some things sell completely out and some things you can get later. So I'll kind of be able to guide you guys through a little bit of what you can get elsewhere, what you can get later. Is this really the best price? Like that is what I pride myself in is, is this really the best price or should I wait? And that depends on the item and what's worth it to you, you know? Let me shop for you, I'm so excited. So check me out on Instagram at Lux and Wine. Um, so anyways, um, leave me a comment down below also if you're interested in anything specific in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, and then I will let you know, I'll comment back to you. Um, the biggest thing this year is I'm gonna be able to show you guys things that I bought in anniversary sales years past. Um, so you'll get to see wear and tear and like real reviews on these items, like, because I don't even have a Nordstrom near me, so I can't go shop the sale and show you guys things like anything that I buy is going to be online. And at this point, most of the things that I saw in the sale are things that I purchased that I like are things I've either purchased in previous years, or I don't normally purchase from Nordstrom because it's not always the best price. So like I said, full disclosure, full honesty. I just actually, the day that I'm filming this video is the day that I just uploaded a value Valentino video where I was showing you guys a bunch of things that are inspired by Valentino. It's so funny because in that video I said, you know, I'm not really going to buy any more Valentino shoes. And then just a few weeks after I shot that video. So spoiler alert, they're shoes. And actually these are a pair of shoes I did not know I was going to buy from Valentino. Um, I actually had been thinking about doing these from Louis Vuitton, but um, I'll it'll make more sense once I show you. These are super heavy. Anyways, as you can see by the size of the box, these are not heels. Okay. Are you guys shocked? Can you believe it? I know you guys are looking at these going, Caitlin, we've never seen you wear combat boots. And that's because I've never owned combat boots. I've owned boots that were a combat-ish style, but not in black. Um, and considering I went through like a punk phase in high school, I'm actually surprised. Back then, when I was in high school, Converse were really in, which they still are. I mean, what am I thinking? But anyways, um, combat boots were kind of more of a goth thing, but I feel like they've really come a long way as far as a high fashion element. And I really, really like these. And I'm actually gonna end up, I'm gonna relace them American style because I can't this, do this whole like Italian lacing thing. I just, it's, it's just not something I can do. But anyways, so these are by Valentino. They are the Rockstead boots. And I actually got these for like half off because they were in the sale. So I actually linked these for you guys. So I was kind of sneaky and posted these on Instagram um, and told all you guys about how these were on sale and they were such a good deal. And I actually ended up ordering them from Valentino and had them sent to the store in Dallas. 
and tried them on and picked them up there because you can have them sent to the store. And then when you order on the website, instead of ordering in the store, you can actually return. So if they didn't fit, that would be great. And I actually um, went up in these a little bit, I think. So these boots are actually a size 38. I'm normally a seven and a half, but I generally get a size eight in my boots and 38 is pretty close to a size eight. Um, European sizes usually run a little smaller, but these um, kind of ran, like I felt like I had enough room in the toe for like socks and stuff. So I wasn't really worried about it. But anyways, these are, and I tried them on with like a thin sock. Um, I don't know that I could wear like a thick, thick sock with this in the winter, but we'll see once I break them in. So they do have like a little zipper here. So I don't have to worry about these buckles. And then those buckles are adjustable, which I actually did uh, actually move the buckle back a little bit to the loosest setting because even though I have really small ankles, these were a little bit tight. If you haven't tried Valentino shoes before, I would just go up half a size, if not a whole size, just to be on the safe side in these. I had also looked at doing like Hermes riding boots or something instead, but I'm kind of glad I did this. I still would like a luxury pair of riding boots because I love riding boots. I wear riding boots to death in the fall and the winter, um, and they're really good for work. And these I think would also be really great for work because even though they are, not a traditional professional style. Um, so kind of like in the video where I said I just unboxed my Louis Vuitton bum bag, which is giving more of an edge to my normally very professional style. I also plan on trying to incorporate combat boots into my professional style, as well as I would love to wear these when I'm going shopping, kind of mix them with my feminine outfits that I normally would wear something like espadrilles with. I haven't really talked about it much on Instagram, but I have been having a lot more trouble with my feet as I'm getting older. Um, heels surprisingly don't really bother me that much, but flat shoes do. So I don't know exactly what's going on. It could be like a plantar fasciitis type thing, but like I cannot just wear flip-flops. Like actually flip-flops are more painful to me than high heels, which is the weirdest thing. Kind of the, my rule here was if I was gonna do another pair of luxury shoes, it needed to be something kind of like my espadrilles that are flat, but I can put insoles in and have some support because my YSL espadrilles, I actually cannot put insoles in yet. They're still just a little bit too tight for that, but I can wear those a little bit longer, I think because they have a little bit of a thicker sole. And these have a nice, like these are not leather on the bottom. They're rubbers, so they have a nice thick sole. So these should be really comfortable. I'm really excited. Um, and if I'm gonna try and take some pictures in these, and if I do that, then I will insert some shots, trying on some outfits and showing you guys how I style these. I'm super excited about really getting out of my box. And like I said, maybe maybe it doesn't work for me and I just end up wearing them casually, but boots like this will last you a long, long time, especially with this thick, thick rubber sole. And then of course, since they're black, they're really easy for a cobbler to work on if you end up with any scuffs or anything. And of course, all Valentino rock stud shoes generally come with extra studs, or you can also order the studs. And these are actually the Noir studs. So they're that um, really dark stud, kind of like my uh, Noir heels. So anyways, super unexpected. I just unboxed this earlier. So I promise you guys, I'm not having an identity crisis, but um, I don't know, maybe I We'll see that. I'm gonna morph a second for this. I did still have these linked on my Like It To Know It page. So I think I still have a link to them at Nordstrom. Um, and I think they may still be available at Saks or Selfridges. Um, there's a few places that had some still on sale in a few sizes. Um, but so unfortunately, because these are from the previous season, I probably won't be able to link these. Um, but I will be, um, I'll always link, like when I link stuff for you guys, I always try to link um, a pre-loved option. And then if I know of a good affordable option, I will always try to link that for you guys. So that's why if you guys um, are following me on Like It To Know It, which on Like It To Know It, I am Lux and Wine also. Um, if you guys follow me on there, you'll see that I will link things that are a little bit more affordable, um, especially on the jewelry spectrum, you'll see me link multiple things for the same thing. So I'll always try to link, if it's available, I'll link the exact item. If it's not available, I will link something similar. And then if it's something that's really expensive, I'll link something at a different price point. So when I'm wearing these throughout the fall, I'll always provide you with a pre-love link to shop these on Fashion File. Like I did see some boots in the Nordstrom sale that I could definitely link for you guys. And then of course there's usually um, every fall, um, starting in about late August, 
early September, we'll definitely start seeing a selection of boots at all of the major department stores. And I'll link a few for you guys when we get to that point. But um, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. But also if you've been with me for a while and you are not following me on Like It To Know It or you don't have the Like It To Know It app, I highly suggest you do that because that is where I post links to all of my outfits so you can shop my looks. Um, and when you shop those links, that helps support my channel. Since I am not monetized yet, um, I actually don't earn any money for my YouTube channel, but I do if you shop some of my links, which I have my links below. Not all of them, but some of them, um, I do get a commission if you shop those links and that really helps support the channel and the work that I'm doing. I definitely underestimated when I built this channel the amount of time and effort that it takes to put together content, to shoot, to edit, to then keep up with Instagram, to then be like really competitive on Instagram and show you guys really engaging content um, and on all the different softwares. It is a process. Um, if you guys have any questions about that though, definitely like leave it in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Lux and Wine, like it to know it at Lux and Wine, TikTok at Lux and Wine, everything everywhere at Lux and Wine. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.